Hey everyone, thanks for coming out and joining us today. I wanted to do a quick review of the five knots that we learned. That way you can practice them. Next week we're gonna be going over shelter fundamentals and then we're gonna have a few other classes of shelter building. So I wanna make sure that you have a really good grasp on those knots. Reach out if you have any questions, but these videos should help. All right, everyone, the first knot we're gonna cover is gonna be the clove hitch. So you're gonna take your line Wrap it around the stick once, cross over, there's your cross. We'll wrap around again, okay? If I'm pulling tight, I can pinch right there, but then I'm gonna run under the line that just went around. So that will go underneath just like that, and then we can pull tight. We have two lines going under one, just like that. The second knot we learned was the timber hitch. So for the timber hitch, we're going to wrap around once. Then you wrap around the line that initially came in, just like that. Now we're going to take the end that we wrapped around. We're going to run it around itself. Ideally, we want to do at least four times. It's gonna help hold in place, just like that, okay? And this should slide if it was done correctly. Next one will be the square knot. So the square knot. I'm going to take your two ends of your line. We're going to put left over right. Like that. And now you want to twist that around. Okay. Now we're going to take right over left. We're going to twist again. Running that under. And then go like that. If it's done correctly, those should slide real easy, just like that when the knot is loose, okay? That is our square knot. We did a bowline. So the bowline should have the rope in front of you and then your gator fingers. You're gonna wrap that around your gator fingers once, reach down and pull a loop up and through. Make sure this stays nice and loose. You're going to take this end of the line. It's going to go through the loop, just like that. Now fold it back and pinch. Then all you're going to do is go to the bottom and pull nice and tight. That's a bowline. Last one we covered was a girth hitch. So Paisley's gonna help out with this one, but Hi. we're gonna start off by making a bite like that. We're gonna run it under our stick, or we did this with a poncho, a hole in a poncho. You pull the long end and the short end through, and you tighten that nice and tight, and now that should kind of bite down on itself. Just like that. He has a very long string. 